automotive scale enthusiasts, welcome to another kit review from the Mile High Scale Modeler. This is the Accurate Miniatures 1964 Corvette Grand Sport GT prototype in 124th scale. Let's have a look at the box art for this model kit. We will then move to opening the box, showing the sprue out of their packaging and taking a deep dive into the kit itself. This kit review, along with all others I produce, are to be informative to the viewer, like you, to help you decide if the current prices you are seeing for this kit are worth it to you if you're looking to purchase this kit. Let's go through the box quickly and then deep dive into the kit. On the upper parts of your screen, you will see the other box arts for the Accurate Miniatures release of this kit along with the Ravel re-release. Opening the instruction manual, we see some information about the Corvette along with recommended paints. For step one, we assemble the engine. Step two is assembling the rear chassis. Moving on to step three, we assemble the front chassis. The fourth step is the installation of the engine onto the chassis. With step five, we assemble the interior. Step six is all about the body. Step 7 is for the hood where we work on the photo edge. Moving to the back side of the instruction manual, we continue step 7 with the installation of the photo edge parts. We install the wheels onto the tires in step 8. Step 9, we install the interior tub to the chassis. Below step 9 are the final steps, including step 12. Moving to the last page, we see painting instructions historic 12-hour Grand Prix endurance results, how to decal the body, model paint reference chart, and pictures of the photo etch that comes in the kit. In the comment section below this video, please let me know if you've built this kit and if you have, what issues you had when building it. The decals are very basic for this kit, including a decal for the dash cluster. The kit comes with these aluminum and brass photo etch sheets, which are very detailed.
Next up are the tires. I always do a squeeze test to see if they are dried up or not. The sidewalls state Goodyear along with some other well detailed text. If you would like to be notified of further content I produce, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't and hit the notification bell. Being a subscriber is one of the great things YouTube allows you to do as a viewer for free. For this kit, we receive a full clear parts tree that includes side windows to enclose the entire interior. Here is the only red parts tree. We can see the detail of these four rear tail lights by the convex point that protrudes from the cylinder circle of the light itself. Here is the parts tree that appears to be brushed aluminum. This is the only parts tree like this in the kit. Let's start by looking at the detail of the wheels. The detail in these Weber carburetors are top notch. Here are the wheel knockoffs, including what appear to be wheel inserts to create a wider tire possibly. Flipping the sprue over allows us to see the detail in the alternator. The steering wheel is very clean and crisp. I enjoy an interior tub that has the door cards separate. There is some texture on the bottom of the interior tub. If you are enjoying this video so far, please give it a like. It helps my channel grow and allows for other viewers to find my channel. For the two seats in this kit, they are molded in one piece, which makes it easier for modelers to not have to glue two pieces together and work on more seam lines than they want. The door cards have great detail along with the transmission for the engine. This sprue, we see the rear end, chassis parts including the A-arms, exhaust, engine hoses, along with pulleys and the brakes. If you are enjoying this video, please hit that like button. This helps my content be seen by viewers who have not seen my channel before, which helps my channel grow. The chassis is tubular, which is different from what one can expect to see in normal kits. The spare tire and radiator can also be found on this tree.
The body is very well detailed. We can see the fender flares and how they protrude outside the typical fender well. I would enjoy seeing the one-to-one -one of this car if it existed in the real world. The rear of the body has 12 taillights and the side vents look awesome. Even the grille doesn't have any flash and is well defined. The inside of the body, especially the headliner, has very little sanding needed for the injector pin marks. This is a great kit and I cannot wait to build it in the future. Thank you for watching.